Alright, hey guys, so there was a new Humble Bundle today, or maybe yesterday, depending on where you live. Uh, this is the Warhammer Bundle. It is not the greatest. A lot of the games have been bundled before in the past, so I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on it just because I'm not too impressed. Some of them have been included in monthlies, some of them in previous bundles, some on bundles on other websites. But the first tier includes Warhammer 40k, Dawn of War. This is the original game. Uh, most people would probably agree that the original was the best. It's a real-time strategy game. Whenever they made their sequels like Dawn of War 2 and Dawn of War 3, they sort of changed the formula and I don't think it ever really uh, re-obtained the greatness of the original Warhammer 40k. The rest is Talisman, which is a board game and you also get some DLC expansions. It's like a card game slash tabletop board game. I've never played the Talisman series, but apparently a lot of people do enjoy it and it might be fun to play with friends and so forth if you're into board games. So the second tier is at $6.48. It actually went up quite a bit since the bundle was released. I think it started at like $4.50 or maybe even lower. Um, but you get Warhammer the End Times Vermintide, which is probably my favorite game in this bundle. It is like Left 4 Dead. It's a four-player co-op game, although instead of fighting zombies, you're fighting uh, these vermin creatures from the Warhammer universe, and the classes are like really well developed. It's a really, really fun game to play, and I highly, highly recommend trying it out. And then there's Warhammer 40k Space Marine Collection. Space Marine is a third person shooter, uh, very similar to like the Gears of War series. I played this recently and I found it to be quite enjoyable and it's actually a very good like single player campaign experience. So if you're looking for more of a single player like full out campaign with um, some really great combat and uh, level design, Space Marine is actually worth checking out. And finally there's Blood Bowl 2, which I haven't played so I can't say much about it, but it looks like an over-the-top football type game. And then the third tier, which is sitting at $12, includes Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 3, which is another real-time strategy game, although I've heard it has mixed reviews and not a whole lot of people enjoyed it, but it looks pretty cool and for the price you're getting at it. And then you get some DLC for Vermintide, and then finally Battlefleet Gothic Armada. It does have mixed reviews as well, um, but this is a sci-fi real-time strategy game that takes place in space. You're commanding your legions of spaceships and uh, trying to win various battles. So that's pretty much it for the Warhammer bundle. If any of you guys are interested in picking it up, I do encourage you to use my referral link in the description below, and you can help support me in this channel by uh, splitting the revenue with me. If you want, you can scroll down and split it between like charity the publishers and uh, if you want to support me you can um, so yeah that's a pretty good bundle overall at least in my opinion um, I also just want to quickly mention that the humble monthly early unlocks for this month include Metal Gear Solid 5 uh, Ground Zeroes and the Phantom Pain along with some DLC you also get City Skylines and City Skylines After Dark which is the expansion so if you're into uh, city management games or um, like open world stealth action games, then uh, the next Humble Monthly is actually a pretty good deal. Um, so that's it for uh, this bundle. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.